All right, what is going on everyone? Oh my God here. Today we are going to be doing kind of a live commentary, on, not kind of, it's gonna be a live commentary on the new chaperone or rather old chaperone returning from D1, uh, exotic shotgun. It's actually a kinetic shotgun. Um, Obviously, they made those weapon slot changes in Destiny 2 with the uh, uh, Year 2 update and Forsaken, so now you can have shotguns in the kinetic and energy slot as well. This one is a precision slug shotgun, so it kind of acts like a, a long-range uh, type weapon um, in that you have a single shot that you can fire, um, has very good distance on it. You can see this thing has maxed out range, pretty good impact. Um, precision kills do grant bonus handling, range, and precision damage. So basically, if you're getting precision kills with this continuously, it's going to be a freaking beast. I have yet to use it in Destiny 2. I did have this weapon in Destiny 1. It was pretty good. It's fun to use. So what we're going to be doing today is testing out in a PvP PvE setting. Uh, so I don't have to hop into them separately. We'll get a nice comparison of how it uh, works in both aspects. And we'll be hopping into Gambit to do that. So while we're loading in here, I'll go ahead and tell you guys how to get this weapon. Um, so I'm not sure how I actually got the initial quest. You get it from Amanda Holiday, the ship lady. And uh, it dropped for me randomly when playing Gambit, I think it was. I don't really remember, but it just dropped random for me post-campaign. I got the quest. Um, it maybe just drops for everyone at some random point. Not entirely sure how you get it. Once you get it, though, um, you go talk to Amanda Holiday. She gives you basically the quest steps. The first step being get 20 shotgun kills in the Crucible. Pretty freaking easy. Honestly, you can throw on IQ those, throw on like a primary kinetic shotgun, even use tractor cannon. Took me like two games, I think. I almost got it in one. I think I got 19 in the first game. Had to play one more just to get that final kill. Then you're gonna have to get uh, solar, void, and arc kills in the Crucible. This one took me two to three games. Um, basically, you get 4% per kill, I believe it is. So technically 25 kills, but if you die, um, every death you get will set you back 1%, so it can take you a little more than that. But once you get to 100 for each element, it doesn't set back anymore. So it might take three, four, or five games, depending. Just make sure you're using um, like a archetype of one uh, subclass type that's like one element, so say solar subclass, and then have like an arc and void as your like energy and heavy, just so you're kind of getting a little bit at once. Or you can just tackle one at a time. Do all solar, then all void, then all arc. Whatever you really want to do to handle that, it's kind of user's choice honestly um, and then the third and final step is going to be to get 15 kills in the gambit against guardians so guardian kills in gambit so whether you're killing the invader coming in or you're going in and invading for this i would recommend just throwing on like a sleeper simulant or a nice scout rifle even a bow really something good where you can go and invade get like four kills um sometimes five if you get the same person but at least like three to four kills per time it'll take you maybe uh one to two games depending on how good you are at doing that in gambit but 15 kills in gambit and then you are done you go talk to amanda holiday and she hands you this beauty which is the chaperone it's a very nice looking weapon honestly um i really like the look of it you kind of got this nice sort of like etched in um, design on the classic looking like silver sort of like a it's like a pistol shot I don't know it just looks really awesome so this is gonna be my first time using it you guys are gonna get to experience it um, I'm not gonna make you suffer through the rest of the loading here so I told you guys how to get it I told you what we're gonna be doing with it so I'll just go ahead and cut to the actual gameplay here and we will hop right into it all right guys so it turns out we actually got into a game that is already going um, so not ideal but it's all right, we're gonna make it work, so. Okay, so that didn't do a whole lot. I kinda figured that would do more. This guy also has massive shield, so. Okay. He's got energy shield, and I'm using a kinetic though, too, so that's not ideal by any means. Good start, good start, I like it. And we're out of ammo for it, too. So it does take special ammo, uh, despite it being a kinetic weapon, um, just because it's a shotgun. I think all the shotguns take Special ammo, um, minus like some of the exotic ones in the heavy slot. Okay, so that's pretty good. It does have a large clip, which is nice. Um, wow, so that's actually doing pretty good um, on the PVE side. I do want to try and like invade their side and get some of the, uh, see if I can get some PVP kills, kill some of their guardians with it. So I don't really have reference for how good it is in that sense. We just get a quick 12 uh, dirty motes though there, so we'll do that, block them. If I'm able to, I'm going to try and invade them as, as fast as possible. Um, we might not be able to now very easily now that we have our prime evil up, so we might have to wait till the next round here. Hopefully we can get the win here. Um, 
much damage is that doing? It's sort of hard to... It's doing quite a bit to that wizard, so... Alright, so they have an invader out right now. And I have, like, no health. <laughs> Whoop! And I died. Alright, so if I can get ammo real quick, our portal's open. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully one of our guys doesn't take that, so I shouldn't have burned through that ammo on that wizard, to be honest. I really shouldn't have, because, yeah, now I have no uh, special ammo. So if we get some special ammo real quick, I'm going to go ahead and invade. Invader down. You're clear. But I actually don't have any as of now, so... I don't think that's something I'm just going to get from sitting idle either. Maybe this guy will drop some, hopefully. So... It's the only downside to it in a mode like this, um, is you're not going to get a lot of ammo for it. I feel like in Crucible in general, okay, so it did drop some here, which is nice. Alright, I'm going to go invade them actually at the same time, and see if I can get some kills with this. So I'm going to, the only thing is I'm going to have to get very close. Almost felt my death there. Okay, so we got one. Okay, so that did... That did a good amount of damage from that distance. That's a, that's a small sample size there. We got a couple shots off on a couple guys. Um, the one was super close. Obviously, that's going to punch shot. So, But that second guy there, we got all of his shield and about half of his health from a pretty good range for a shotgun. And I didn't hit the crit. Um, so it's... It's hard to tell, really. So, uh, since we got into one halfway through there, we're going to hop into a second uh, game here just to get a better idea. Um, we'll actually just go ahead and hop into a game of Crucible because I want to get a better idea of how it works in the PvP environment, really. I think I got a pretty good feel for the PvE. So, we'll hop into a Crucible game and I will meet you guys there. Take the zone. Ooh, this could either be a very good or a very bad map for this, but we. All right, in PvP now, regardless. Um, I think I'm just going to get more ammo drops for this and just more opportunities to kill other Guardians, which is why I figured... I thought Gambit would maybe be able to get a little bit of both, honestly, but seems I was a little hopeful there. Okay, so that... Oh, we didn't actually get the kill there. That was a... That was a okay, so that, yeah. So we got the crit on the one. It did, like, 250, um, but we were pretty close range there. I want to try getting, uh, see we're going to spawn with two every time here, yeah, that's going to be a lot better. Um, I want to try like kind of seeing the extent of its one hit kill range, which is going to be tough to do. So that was pretty good. That was good for a shotgun. I like that. Okay. 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 If you can get the crits, it seems like it's going to be really good. Which I missed that one. <laughs> I immediately miss it, but... It's, uh, I think it has a faster fire rate than what I'm doing at Justice for too. I don't know why I'm waiting so long between my shots. If you're getting the crits with this, from, like, the extent of its range, you're gonna be one-shotting it. Yeah, right there. Exactly. That's, that's perfect. That's a perfect example. So this thing's just gonna surprise the crap out of people if you can just one-shot pop them in the face. That's absolutely awesome. Ha <laughs> ha! That is so great! Ah, we missed you on that guy. Oh, I didn't kick that arrow back. Cock it back all the way? I don't know what word he is. So, taking people by surprise with this shotty though. I think that's going to be the best part of using it, honestly, is just getting those headshots on people. Like that. Like that. Beautiful. I love it. This is amazing. Ooh, give me that. Like so. We can maybe still... No, we're, there's no way we're winning this. <laughs> They only need three more points, so. Got him! That wasn't even a headshot there. We can, uh, if we can dominate them here, or control them, or power play them, or... There's too many different things in different games. It's power play in this game. Got him! They defeated us anyway, but... So there you go, guys. That is the Chaperone Exotic Shotgun. Uh, kinetic Shotgun. You get that from Amanda Holiday by doing the Exotic Quest. Um, again, to recap how to get it, you're going to have to get uh, 20 kills in the Crucible with the shotgun. Then you're going to have to get about 25 or so kills with Void, Arc, and Solar damage in the Crucible. And then you are going to have to get 15 Guardian kills in Gambit. You'll go back to Amanda Holiday. She will give you this exotic kinetic shotgun. And you are going to have a blast just 
popping people off in the face with this thing. So I will definitely be using this in the future. It's a great option in PvP. You can see we did pretty good there. We got about 28 kills, um, had a 1.5, not terrible. Uh, it was my first time using it in a real PvP environment. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Go ahead, grab this shotgun once you get the quest. It's pretty easy to get. It's a very excellent shotgun. It's a good choice. It's going to drop at a powerful gear level. So this is my highest weapon now, 523. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more Forsaken content. I'll be delivering a lot more over the coming weeks, especially with the raid coming out and as more exotics continue to drop. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace out.